Hi, this is uh, Steve Graves with the CSUN Geography Department. Uh, this video tutorial is to help students learn to uh, use a publicly available geocoding service to convert addresses from a physical address to latitude and longitude coordinates that can then be imported into a mapping program like ArcMap and convert it into points on a map. The first thing uh, to do is to get a list of addresses. So I'm going to type in LA County Health Department Restaurant Guides and uh, bring in the retail food inspections. This should land us on this page. It may look different um, over the years, but essentially you're looking for the uh, facility ratings list. I'll click uh, here and this takes a moment but a um, list of all of the restaurants in um, or all of the food places in Los Angeles appears. We're going to narrow this down just to the uh, those in the zip code 91324 which is near uh, campus. I'm going to click search after that and here are all of the uh, well everything that the the Environmental Health Department has uh, inspected and I think if we want to uh, narrow that we just click on uh, restaurants and markets. So here uh, we have a list of addresses and what we're going to do is to uh, I think we'll just copy and paste this over into a Google spreadsheet. I'm going to launch a separate browser window and I will type in uh, Google Sheets there are multiple ways of getting uh, sheets. Notice that I'm logged in. It has my uh, picture over here. I want a blank spreadsheet. What we need next is an add-on to help us geocode. So click add-on and click get add-ons. And the one that we're looking for is for geocoding uh, by awesome table. This is it click free and of course um, Google's going to want to know a bunch of stuff about us um, if you are uncomfortable with this um, then there are other ways of geocoding but this is one of the best one so at this point uh, we'll go back to our uh, data and I'm going to go to the very bottom of the page I'm going to zoom out here. I want to make sure that I get all of the data. I started at the very got the very beginning, and I have at least a hundred results, and that's good. I've highlighted them. I'm pressing Control C for copy, and I will come over to my Google spreadsheet, and I am going to paste special, but I just want the values. I think this should work. Okay, and uh, now I have a column or several columns of data. This one uh, is unusable, so I want to uh, delete that row. And I need to, um, well, I can actually uh, delete this column as well because it's not useful to me. Here's the name of the restaurant in column A the last inspection date, the score, uh, the type of facility that it is, uh, but the three that are most important are these three columns here for our geocoding. If you click on the add-ons tab and click on geocode and start geocoding, a window will pop up over on the right hand side and um, our address column is actually in multiple columns, so what this will do is concatenate um, the three columns that we want to use. And in this case, address, city, and zip are recognized by the software already, and all you have to do is click Insert Column. This is a really useful system. So there it has given us full address and a column of full addresses from which we can use. Click geocode and 
note that the software is beginning to use Google's uh, address database in order to uh, provide us with some coordinates. I'm going to pause until this is completed. All right, you note that um, several things have happened. Uh, all 100 addresses have been geocoded. And for our purposes, uh, this is all we need to do with this spreadsheet. You want to give it a title, um, probably before you leave, um, something to the effect of uh, Northridge restaurants or something like that. You can also click this Create Map, and it does a interesting... Um, little thing on your behalf. Watch it run here for a moment. And so this is really cool and you can embed that in um, another application or a website or something to that effect. Um, but that is not our purpose today. Rather I'm going to close that map window and what I want to do is to file and um, download this as an Excel file that can be opened in not only Excel uh, but in ArcMap. Click Enabling Editor. Uh, it looks like I need to get um, rid of this first row of data. And what is most important is that I have latitude and longitude coordinates available to me that I can use in ArcMap. Next thing I'm going to do is open ArcMap, which I have down here on my toolbar. I want to open a project um, and at least for this class one of the interesting ones might be uh, to open one in the San Fernando Valley so I have a base layer on which I can place these uh, points that represent latitude and longitude. So what I have is a map of the San Fernando Valley area zips. I will zoom in to uh, the regional uh, zip codes here near campus. I need to go back over to Excel and make sure that I'm saving this uh, somewhere where I can find it. I'll put it on my C maps directory. That's just called, uh, I'm going to call it Northridge Restaurant misspelled that's okay um, but the most important thing is that it has no spaces in the name. I'll close this and I must close it. Back over here in the map window I need to add a layer and from my drive C maps I will look for the layer that I just added, Northridge Restaurants. Add. It's only in Sheet 1. I want to add that. It's nice to rename Sheet 1, but we don't need to. I'm right-clicking on that layer, Sheet 1. I want to display XY data. It recognizes latitude and longitude already and this is the coordinate system that it is using. It seems to recognize it. If it doesn't, you want to click on the edit button and make sure you are looking in the geographic coordinate systems list under the world systems folder and select 
WGS 1984. That's what Google uses exclusively. Click OK and click OK and click OK. And there is the list of addresses that have a 91324 address uh, displayed. You're almost finished. The last thing you need to do is to right click on Sheet 1 events because these are sort of ghost uh, layers or ghost points. Data, export data. And select a location where you can save it. I'm going to save mine here in my C Maps folder and call it Northridge Restaurants as a shape file. If you were saving it in a geodatabase file, you would make sure to change that fee that uh, option. Click Save. Um, if you want um, your points projected in the data frame, you would click on that to change the coordinate system to match the data frame projection or coordinate system. But in this case, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Click OK. Do we want this exported? Yes. And now we have two layers. We can get rid of the bottom one. Um, in fact, we can remove this all together and should. And now we have a layer of restaurants and they are uh, available to us for analysis. That concludes uh, this video tutorial.